What is up YouTube? I'm Ty Slim and this is Ty Slim Vlogs. What we have here is a 2010 Acura TSX and it's not charging. Um, this lady pulled into the garage here and her battery light came on. I actually diagnosed this for her a little bit uh, earlier, a couple months ago. She had a whining noise coming from the engine bay. So I stuck my stethoscope down around there and I heard a little bit of whining out of the alternator. I told her to run the car because that noise could last forever. A um, couple months later, the light came on and I mean, I know one thing, I like to run my parts as long as I can and squeeze every last drop out of them because uh, it's tough in this economy now. So we're gonna show you how to change out this alternator. Okay, I started this girl up and it looks like we got the battery light of death going on, so. Check charging system, everybody. Okay, what we have here is a 3.5 liter V6. Uh, I think the engine code's a J35, so similar to the J32s and the J30s. So mostly any Honda J series engine should be similar. First thing we're gonna do, disconnect the battery. Then we gotta pop off these covers here to expose the alternator, and then we'll get to work. Okay, now we're going to get to work. Now that we've got the battery disconnected, we're going to take the bolt off the alternator. We're going to take the electrical connector off the alternator. We're probably going to have to take the coolant reservoir out of the way and then we'll get, to get the belt off and get going. Okay, now we're going to start working on the alternator. Uh, we got to get the belt off first. There's a tensioner pulley. Uh, they make a special tool to get the tensioner pulley off, but uh, we don't really do that around here. We use what we have, so I'm just going to use a longer 3 8 ratchet and a 14 millimeter socket. And I guarantee you we'll get it done. You just take your socket here and you go counterclockwise. And that loosens up the belt, slip the belt off, and that's that. Okay, now to get to the bottom bolt here, the bottom bolt is actually behind the tensioner. So I had to move the tensioner out of the way and then I wired my ratchet so it holds the tensioner out of the way. So really nothing could go wrong. It's just some, some wire for tire and some rebar. I mean, if it breaks, it won't smash your fingers, I promise. And then to get this bolt, we gotta go a little wrench wrench for a little more leverage.
broke free just like that. One lower alternator bolt out, one to go, I believe. I think it's just one. We'll see. This top one is tight. Oh man, see it's like slipping already. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good sound. Very good sound. All right, it's loose in there. Okay, well I've been wrestling this alternator out. Uh, it's probably preferred method to take the radiator fan out, but I didn't want to do that. So I just figured I'd fight it and I should be able to get it out. I need to take the two bolts of the coolant reservoir out and then this thing should come right out. And just like that, we got a genuine Honda alternator out. Unfortunately, the one we will be getting will not be genuine Honda. It will be remanufactured. Okay, I just got back from the parts store with a fresh alternator. After all the discounts and promo codes that I used, I got this little piece of liquid gold for $240. And I've been splurged for a fresh serpentine belt. Very, very unlike me, but we're going to put it on now. You always got to hit it with your hammer, regardless. Every time. Super tight fit, but she's in. Now it's time to put your bolts in the alternator since I P-whistled it in there. Uh, I like to put the bottom bolt in first because it's the harder bolt and then you have more movement. So, just about making life easier on yourself. I know everybody's dad and grandpappy said, oh, why the engineer ain't like that? It doesn't matter. Just get it done. Take your new dry belt versus your old dry belt and go like this and go, eh, pretty close. That should work. Okay, send your little rabbit around the tree, around the other tree. Tension your belt. And there it's on. Okay, we interrupt this broadcast for a little tech tick. We interrupt this broadcast for a little tech. <clears throat> oh my god. We interrupt this broadcast for a little tech tip Tuesday. Well, when your 3 8 ratchet goes like this, you know, and it, it really you really like it. You know, it's really fun. Uh, you just take a little T25 and put a little bit of a uh, 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 little crank on her. And guess what? 
She's back to toy, toy again. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Now that we got the alternator on and a fresh belt on, um, now we just gotta put the connectors on, put the main wire to the alternator on, and put the battery on, fire it up, and cross our fingers. Uh, that's empty. I guess we should add some to that, huh? The moment of truth. No battery light. No check charge system. And we're charging at 14.24, right where we should be. That's min, everybody. That's what you want. Right in the sweet spot. Fresh belt, very unlike me, but sounds nice and smooth. On to power, baby. Okay, everybody, thanks for riding along with me through this alternator replacement on this 2010 Acura TSX. Uh, it wasn't too hard. Um, it can all be done with simple hand tools. Uh, you just got to get through it. You know, you have to be positive and you have to think, I can do anything. Um, watch a couple videos, do a few things. It's no big deal. Um, don't let your grandpappy say, oh, how'd they put it in there? How'd it fit in there? It really doesn't matter. Just get your hands dirty, get in there, get it done. This is me. This is Ty Slim Vlogs. I am Ty Slim. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And, as always, stay positive.